Test Universe 3.0 comes with a new ribbon-based user interface that gives structure, flexibility, and a better overview to the working area. Managing views and creating customized layouts is much easier now. The new ribbon displays large recognizable icons that show all the functions of the test module. If you are working with small displays, use the Expand Minimize button to collapse the ribbon in order to create a larger working area. The Quick Access Toolbar is located in the title bar of the application window and exposes a set of commands that are selected by the user. The customizable drop-down menu contains the available set of default Quick Access Toolbar commands. Just choose the ones to be displayed in the toolbar. The Test Object Hardware Configuration and Test Operation settings are contained in the Home tab. Start, Stop, Pause, or Clear your results by clicking on the corresponding ribbon button. You can also use F5 to start and F6 to stop the test. Point to the icons with the mouse to check the corresponding shortcut keys that execute a specific function or command. The View tab has been specifically designed to easily manage the views and customize the layout of the test modules. A default layout has been provided as a starting point where you have the opportunity to drag, dock, merge, or split the different views to suit your needs. Window arrangements can be modified by dragging the splitter bar to resize the windows. Automatic rescaling provides optimum use of the working area. The layout is also automatically scaled when resizing the main application window. For more advanced changes, including the arrangement of tabbed views inside the panes, unlock the views from the Manage Views section and prepare to configure the overall layout of your module. Drag the pane of your choice onto one of the docking stickers. The pane will automatically adapt to the selected position. Note the difference between dropping the pane onto a field of the central docking sticker of another pane as opposed to one of the corner stickers. The docking sticker of a given pane allows you to locate external elements inside the pane itself. The stickers in the corners enable the complete workspace in order to place any pane at the indicated positions. Alternatively, move the pane wherever you like without docking it to a fixed position. The panes remain in a floating state so they can be dragged outside the application and even grouped together. Each pane can be composed of more than one view. For instance, the right pane in the default layout comprises the phaser view, the impedance view, and report view. When moving any view type, you can use the central field of the pane's docking sticker to place it as a tabbed view inside the selected pane. To separate a tab as an individual pane or to drop it into another pane, grab the tab and move it onto a sticker. If your preference is to use the keyboard rather than the mouse, you may move the selected view in any direction using the cursor keys while pressing the Shift key. For example, looking at the default layout, we select the Report View tab located in the right pane. Now, we press the Shift key and the left arrow. The Report View comes out of the pane to a central position. If we press the left arrow once again, the Report View is inserted into the left pane together with the test view. To move the tabbed report view to the upper position inside the pane, press the shift key and the up arrow. You can also use the submenu on each pane to split or merge the views at the indicated position. Once you have completed your customized layout, it can be saved for future use. To do so, expand the Apply submenu and click on the Save As option to make it available at any time. It is then possible to save multiple layouts, and each of them can be used for different purposes. For example, we can use this last layout for analyzing the test results and another one for setting up the module. Remember that you can always return to the default layout by selecting the default entry under Apply. You can also find the customized layouts that have been saved under the Apply section. Saved layouts can be exported and imported, allowing them to be used on different computers.
keep in mind that the last layout before closing a given module will be automatically saved and used as the starting layout when the module is reopened. Although the test modules share a common interface, the number of tabs and icons included in the ribbon can vary depending on each specific module. However, the Home and View tabs are common parts. Check out the specific video tutorials to see all the possibilities that the modules may have to offer you.